When you're using the Palm Pre, there's a lot of different advanced gestures that you might not use on an iPhone or another touch screen phone, but they are really helpful when you're navigating around this device in particular. So I thought I'd take the time to show you a couple of those. The first one I wanted to show you was the quick, uh, the quick launch taskbar. There's an easy way to access this. Usually you would press the center button to get to that, but you don't even have to do that. So say you're reading your email here and you want to get into another application. All you have to do is put your finger firmly in the uh, gesture area, bring it up slowly, and there you go. You can see that you've got your quick launch bar right there. You can even turn on something called advanced gestures with the Pre, and uh, this will let you switch through applications a little bit faster. So first I'll show you how to get to that. First of all, you want to go to your uh, home screen, so get and then get your launcher up and pan over until you find the screen and lock settings. I'm going to go into that and right at the bottom, once that comes up, I'm going to see the advanced gestures option. So I can switch that from uh, off to on just by swiping over the little blue tab there. Now once I've got that uh, turned on, I can more easily switch between applications. All I have to do is one full swipe across the gesture area. You see I can go back by going from left to right and also I can go forward from going to right to left. And once you reach uh, the end of your application line you'll see the screen will sort of bump and it just won't move forward. Now there's not just gestures that you might want to know with your Palm Pre. There's a couple of uh, key shortcuts that come in handy too. Say you want to take a screenshot on your device. There's an easy way to do that. Just hold down three different buttons. Those buttons are the orange button, the SIM button, and P. So once you've taken that screen capture, you go to the Photos application, and you'll see that there's a tab there that says Screen Captures. Just need to tap on that, and uh, you'll see all the images that you've taken. One more thing you can do by pressing three buttons at once is a soft reset of the device. So say uh, your device is frozen, something's gone wrong, often a soft reset can be a good way to uh, fix this. So all you have to do to trigger this is press the orange button, the SIM button, and then reach over and hold the R key down. You hold that until you see the Palm logo. That means that you've got your soft reset and uh, your device is rebooting. Do you remember back in uh, the early Nintendo days, whenever Konami released a game, it was almost uh, surely compatible with what they called the Konami code. And uh, that code was up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. And uh, guess what? The Palm Pre is also compatible with that code. So I'm just going to uh, type it. I'm, ri I'm right here on the home screen. I'm just going to type it in. Up, up. And as you type it, you'll even see it come into uh, the find bar. So you don't have to uh, type it correctly all at once. You can even backspace and fix it. So you type it all in. No spaces, just one long word. Once you type that in correctly, you'll see a developer mode enabler come up. So you can tap on that icon now, and uh, now you're given an option to actually unlock the developer mode. So now you can plug in to a USB port on your PC and actually use uh, the SDK to do some developer work on your phone, if that's the sort of thing that you want to do. Okay, that's all the tips I have to show you. For itbusiness.ca, I'm Brian Jackson.